Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Backyard Buckets. If you are new here or have not seen any of our videos before, make sure to hit the subscribe button. This is the place to be. March Madness, NCAA basketball, NBA basketball, IRL basketball. We do it all. Make sure to stick around if you like basketball. Also, hit the like button. It really helps the video out in the YouTube algorithm. Uh, with that being said, enjoy the video. So like I said earlier, we're talking about the Utah Jazz once again. Uh, if you came from the Bradley Beal video, shout out to you. Um, the Nuggets one, because there's multiple on that. So shout out to you. But the Jazz are now 15 and 4, and they're first in the Western Conference. This is the same Western Conference that contains the Denver Nuggets, the LA Clippers, the LA Lakers, among others, like... Who would have thought this was going to happen? Right now, they're fifth in the NBA in offensive rating and third in defensive rating. I mean, it's insane. They've won like 11 straight. They've won the last three without Donovan Mitchell, Bogdan Bogdanovich, and they're not Bogdan, Bojan Bogdanovich, and uh, Rudy Gobert really, really stepped it up in the absence of Mitchell. And this has been really kind of weird to watch almost because nobody expected it I mean it's the NBA where amazing happens you know that's the whole thing but this year the Jazz have just been on a different level remember they were one shot away you could say from the Western Conference semifinals in a very very winnable matchup for them against the LA Clippers last year when you think about it I mean all they did was run pick and rolls they had a pretty dang good defense defense is still pretty dang good um with, or obviously having, the, sorry, my mind went blank there for a second. Obviously having the third best defense in the league. And I think when you think about it, it really wasn't as crazy them being the first best team in, or the best team in the West uh, 19 games into the season. It's not really as crazy as you think. Like I said, they did all that last year in the playoffs. They didn't have Bojan Bogdanovic, who is currently their fourth leading scorer. They didn't have Mike Conley for part of that series. I'm like 99% sure. Jordan Clarkson what it is, was not doing what Jordan Clarkson is doing today. And then Joe, uh, I don't forget what I said about Joe. But like I said, this team, with all of that being said, they were one game away from a very winnable Western Conference semifinals against the Clippers because who was guarding Rudy Gobert in that series? Really nobody. Like, you get Donovan Mitchell coming off a ball screen, and it's an automatic lob to Rudy Gobert every single time. He's averaging 30 in that series because Ivaka Zubac is not going to guard him. So real quick, we're just going to go through the uh, Utah Jazz stats this year, and we're going to start out with their alpha male, their best player, even though he's missed the last three games, Donovan Mitchell. He's been on a tear. Uh, he's been on a different level this year. He's just been an absolute monster. He's averaging 23 points, four and a half rebounds, five assists, and he has been no doubt the best player on the Utah Jazz and one of the best players in the Western Conference, in my opinion. He's playing the leading role for this team, their best player. He's playing that role perfectly, uh, and if he can keep it up, the Jazz will follow suit, I think. Uh, so we got Jordan Clarkson as their second leading scorer who comes off the bench for him, just an automatic bucket. He's got a very, very smooth jump shot, uh, and it goes in. He is balling out right now. 18 points a game, three rebounds, two assists. Or is that five rebounds? I think it's three. It might be five, but you never know. There you go. Go look that up and comment down below. How many rebounds is Jordan Clarkson averaging? Question of the day. Um, but, yeah, he's balling out. He's, he's looking really, really good. It's looking like an absolute steal that they got him from the Cavs uh, a couple years ago. Or maybe it was last year. But yeah, he looked good in the bubble. Not as good as he looks right now, though. Bo Yamba, or excuse me, getting a little ahead of myself. Mike Conley, he's averaging 17 points. He's having a bit of a career resurgence year. He's averaging four rebounds. He's averaging six assists. He's been very, very good for the Utah Jazz this season. They really needed it. They It looked like... They missed him during that playoff series last year. I mean, I'm pretty sure they went up 3-1 without him. But still, they missed him. He's their point guard. 
you're 100% going to miss him, especially when you're trying to close out a playoff series. So he's back, and good for him for being able to come back and really ball out for this Jazz team and be a huge part of it. Now we're going to talk about Bojan. Bojan Bogdanovic. He's averaging 14 points. He's averaging 3.5 rebounds and 2 assists. He's been really, really good this year. He stepped up big time in their last game. Um, really kind of carried the way with Donovan Mitchell out. I forget what he was hurt. Hold on, let me check. Dang it, Siri doesn't know. And I'm too lazy to check the internet because it's already 9.30 and I have to get this video out tonight. But Mitchell's hurt. Bojan stepped up in a big way last night. It was the night before. Their last game, regardless. Rudy Gobert, the guy that Shaq hates on. This is Shaq's least favorite team by far in the NBA. But Rudy Gobert, he's averaging 14 points, 14 rebounds. That's absolutely insane. Three blocks. Uh, he's just been the stifle tower. One of the best rebounders in the NBA. One of the best shot blockers in the NBA. Absolute monster. And then Jinglin Joe Ingles averaging 11 points, three and a half rebounds, and four boards, or four assists on the season. Excuse me. Um, and this core six for the Jazz, Mitchell, Clarkson, Conley, Bogdanovich, Gobert, and Ingles, it is a very, very good core. Um, they've been able to pick up the slack without Mitchell. They've looked good with Mitchell. This Jazz team looking really, really dangerous. And if you can get it, if you can stick it to the one seed as the Jazz and put the Clippers versus the Lakers on the opposite side of the bracket, that'd be huge because then you wouldn't have to play both of them to get to the finals. You'd only have to play one of them. And that is possibly what they are striving for this year. I know it's only been 19 games, but still, that could be huge. That could be one of the biggest things that they're looking at going into the postseason. With all that being said, that is going to be it for today's video. So make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed at any point. Like I mentioned earlier, if you need help with March Madness, this is the place to be. College basketball, we do it all. Make sure to subscribe. Stick around. Really helps us out. Um, and liking helps it out the YouTube algorithm. Be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching.